In May 2025, something historic happened. India executed one of the most high-tech, no-nonsense, absolutely clinical air operations in modern history, Operation Sindor. Pakistan got checkmated before they even understood what hit them. And the real star of the show? India's beast mode air defense system. So what did India use? How did we block enemy drones, blind their radars, wipe out their missile systems? What India hits inside Pakistan and still stay untouchable in the skies? Let's break it all down. First, let's learn about India's air defense system. India's air defense isn't just one system. It's a full-on layered wall. A mix of Soviet legacy tech, Israeli precision, Indian innovation, and Russian firepower, all linked into one live network. Main systems? S-400, Triumph, long-range beast, tracking targets up to 600 kilometers with phased array radar, currently deployed on both western and northern fronts. Akash system, indigenous medium-range SAM, integrated with Akash tier C2 network, L-70 guns, upgraded, old Bofors backbone modernized with electro-optics and radar linking to shoot down UAVs. QR SAM and Spider, quick reaction shield against low-flying threats. Barak 8, MRSAM, India-Israel co-developed high-mobility solution for cruise missiles and drones. IACCS, integrated air command and control system. This is the brain. It connects all radars, weapons, and sensors into one real-time war grid. But how it works? The multi-layered web. Imagine India's western border as a stack of four invisible walls, each waiting to kill. First layer, counter drone and man pads. These are right at the front, near low sea and border posts. Includes DRDO's D4 system, old L-70 guns, and IGLA-S shoulder-fired missiles. They can spot and shoot small drones and suicide drones fast. There are short-range jammers, radar eyes, and AI software to track targets. Second layer, point defense plus short-range missiles. Next line is to protect army bases and key supply areas. Here we have QRSAM launchers, spider SR systems, and radar-guided guns. Targets are locked automatically using Barani Low radar and Rivathi 3D radar. Third layer, medium range missile shield. This one uses Akash and MRSAM missiles. It defends against stealth drones, cruise missiles, and bombers. Backed by Akash tier system, connects radars to launchers without delay. Fourth layer, S400 and LRSAM. This is the long range shield, covers up to 400 kilometers deep. It can shoot down enemy jets like F 16s before they enter Indian skies. Linked with Green Pine, Super Swordfish radars, and satellite support. Even if one radar is jammed, the rest keep working. Every radar talks to each other in real time using IACCS. It's like a digital chakravya. Once inside, there's no way out. What India did in Operation Sindor. During Operation Sindor, India didn't just retaliate, it unleashed a coordinated, multi-layered air defense operation across the Western theater. And for the first time, systems across all three layers were activated in unison. Drones neutralized. Pakistani kamikaze drones were shot mid-air using upgraded L-70 guns guided by Bahrani radar. A swarm of Turkish Bayraktar TB-2s was jammed, tracked, and killed by DRDO's D-4 system near Jammu. Missiles blocked. Pakistan's Nasser and Babur missiles were intercepted by the Akash Barak 8 shield. None breached Indian airspace. Pakistan's radar jammed. India deployed Heron TPs to jam PAF's early warning base at Sargodha, blinding their air detection grid. Full network sync. Akashtir plus IACCS linked 20 plus interceptors in real time. Targets were tracked and destroyed in under 15 seconds. What India hits inside Pakistan? Saab 2000 AWACS destroyed 300 plus kilometers deep. Two F-16s, one Chinese JF-17, one C-30J neutralized. Eleven airbases degraded, including Noor Khan and Rahim Yar Khan. LY-80 and HQ-9 systems in Lahore, Karachi wiped out. Nine terror HQs, including JEM, Bahawalpur, and LAT, Muridke, flattened. India's strike force, Kamikaze drones, Brahmos from Su-30, MKIs, and Scalp from Rafals launched multi-axis clinical precision strikes. Akashtir neutralized over 80% of incoming threats. Pakistan's retaliation failed within 8 hours. 
their radar, blind, their jets, grounded, their response, crushed. This operation also gives wisdom. If your nation doesn't have a strong air defense deterrent, then any mission or operation is a suicide move. One can also learn this from the Israel-Iran conflict, the Ukraine-Russia war, and the Houthi attacks in the Red Sea. What comes next? India future projects and total deterrence. India not done here. In fact, what's coming next will make the skies even harder to break through. DRDO is now building laser-based weapons, tools that can burn down drones from a distance. These are called directed energy weapons and they'll sit at our forward posts. Next is XR-SAM, a new missile system that fits right between Akash and S-400 with a reach of over 250 kilometers. Then comes Project Kusha, a homegrown missile shield that can take down long-range nuclear missiles like the American THAAD and S-400. It features multi-layered interceptor missiles with ranges up to 350 kilometers and integrates with the IAF's IACCS network. Designed as an Indian alternative to the Russian S-400, it aims to boost India's self-reliance and strategic air defense by 2028 to 2029. And we're also testing Cats Warrior, a pack of smart drones that fly alongside fighter jets and attack without waiting for orders. All of this is being linked together. ISRO's space satellites, BEL's tracking radars, DRDO's signal jammers, they're all being plugged into one cloud system run by the Indian Air Force. This is part of the new theater command plan, where control, communication, computers and intelligence are all under one roof. It means every part of the defense system talks to each other in real time. For Pakistan, this changes the game. Every drone, every jet, Every missile they launch now has over an 80% chance of being caught, jammed, or shot down before it reaches us. The next war might not even start because it's already over inside our defense web.